Hey guys, let's get started. We're going to start by preparing our crust and we are going to using Lorna Dunes uh, to make our crust. So I've already opened the package packages because of course they come tiny packs like that. So I've already opened the packages and put them in the bag. So it is a box and a half of Lorna Dunes in this bag. So we are going to start by crushing our cookies. So we've got to get our cookies all crushed. Okay, it looks like we've got our cookies all crunched up like we need them to be. So we are going to take our cookies and we are going to put them in a bowl. And I would say that this is about four cups of cookie crumbs. So to that we are going to add a half a stick of unsalted butter. We're going to mix in a half a stick of unsalted butter and two tablespoons of brown sugar. So we're just going to mix that all in there, get everything all incorporated together. And then once we get this all mixed up like we need it, we'll put it in the pan. Okay, so we made sure we've got all the clumps of brown sugar out and our butter is distributed, distributed evenly through our cookies. And what we're going to do is take our spring form pan and we are just going to pour some in. Now remember, we're going to do the sides, so we need to have enough of our cookies to go around the side and we also we don't want a real thin crust so we want to get as much as we can and then we want to start to build up around the sides so we're going to get this all in build up around the sides okay so let's get the cookies all up on the side of our pan and i'm going to use you see i'm using my measuring cup to help me smush it up against the sides so that we can get a nice side on our, on our pan here so we're just going to get this all nice and what we'll do is we only have a little bit of cookies left so we're just going to dump the rest of the cookies we had in here the cookie crumbs and we'll even it out on the bottom because we pushed a lot of it up on the sides we'll just even it out and smash it and we'll move on now to the custard because we're going to put a lemon custard on top and also i need a little of the lemon custard to go into the base of my cheesecake so i'm going to make that now before we start on the base of the cheesecake Okay, so let's start making our filling for our cheesecake. So I am going to use this Jello Cook and Serve Lemon Pudding. I didn't have enough lemons to make lemon curd, so I am going to use the Jello. So I am going to make it exactly according to the recipe on the box. So we are going to let the sugar dissolve in this water a little bit. We're making it just according to the box. And we are going to dump in our pudding. And then we are going to add the rest of our water. Now we have to continuously stir this so that it doesn't burn. So we are just going to stir this until it thickens up. I am sure you guys have made um, cooked pudding before, so you know the routine. So we're just going to cook this until it starts to thicken up. Okay, so I've got a cup of heavy whipping cream and we're gonna get this all beat up. We want to beat this until we've got stiff peaks. So let's get this in here and we're going to beat our whipping cream. We got the nice stiff peaks forming when we lift it up. So we are ready to let's just get all of it off the beauty. So we are going to set this aside. 
Okay, so we are going to add 20 ounces of cream cheese to the mixer and that's two eight ounce blocks and a half of a block. So we are going to add that in the mixer and we are going to start to mix this up. Okay, and we're going to add a fourth of a cup of sour cream. And we want this to get all creamed together. And then we are going to add one cup and two thirds of powdered sugar. So let's start adding our powdered sugar in there. So we are going to let this all cream together. Let's let this get cream together. And now we are going to add a tablespoon of vanilla flavor. I'm sorry, a teaspoon of. Mm, we might add two teaspoons. I'm feeling like we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla flavor. And we're going to let this all cream together. And while this cream in, we're also going to add four tablespoons of our lemon pudding that we need. So we're going to cream that in there as well. So we're going to let that cream, and when that's all done, we're going to fold in our whipped cream. Okay, so now we are going to take our whipped cream and we are going to fold it over into our batter. Let's get all of that goodness out of there. Try to scrape this bowl nice and clean. So we'll get this out. So I'm gonna have to tell you something guys. I When I was making my lemon, so we're just going to fold this in. So when I was making my lemon pudding, I caught it just in time that I forgot to put the eggs, the um, egg yolks in there. So I was able to save it because it didn't have time to get hot. Cause you know, if you add eggs into a hot mixture, they will cook. So it didn't have a chance to get hot. So I added my eggs into my pudding and it turned out just fine. So we are going to fold these, this whipped cream over in here. We wanna make sure that we get it mixed up really well and it'll be ready to put in the pan and sit in the refrigerator. So my pudding is still hot. So we've gotta wait for it to cool down. So we're going to sit this in the refrigerator once we get it all mixed in together and pour it in the pan and we'll sit it in the fridge. Okay, so we are going to pour our batter over into our spring form paste. Even that out and we're gonna try not to. Let's get that smoothed out as to the edge as we can without pulling any cookies into our mixture. So we wanna get as much of that done as we can without pulling any cookie crumbs in. All right. Okay, so let's pour our lemon topping on here. This is going to delish. Let's cover the rest of it up. Get it to all the way to the edges again without getting any of the cookie crumbs into the cake part. So almost, let's just even it up. And we will put this in the fridge for a couple of hours and then we will come back and make our meringue topping, okay? So let's chill this. Okay, so we're gonna make the meringue for our cheesecake. So I've got four eggs. We're gonna add just a tad bit of salt, a fourth of a tablespoon of cream of tartar, just a fourth of a tablespoon, cream of tartar, 
and we're going to get this mixing. Now while this is mixing, I am going to heat up a third of a cup of water and a cup of sugar to pour in there as this gets hot. I mean as this mixes and beats the egg whites. Okay, so we beat our egg whites to stiff peaks. Now we're going to add this third of a cup of water and a cup of sugar that we got to we cooked into a hundred and four two hundred and forty degrees. So we're just gonna slowly add that into our egg whites. And this is going to give us a nice fluffy creamy egg white. So we're just gonna add that right in there. And we're also going to add a tablespoon, a tablespoon, a teaspoon of vanilla syrup, vanilla flavor. Now we need to whip this until the egg whites cool down. So we're just gonna let that be. There goes our vanilla. Now we're gonna let this beat until it gets to room temperature. And here we have our no bake, again, no bake lemon meringue cheesecake. I think we did a great job. Hey, if you like what I'm cooking, take a minute to hit the like button, subscribe, and drop me a comment. And hey, Remember, cook with the ones you love and love the ones you cook with.